during a sit-down with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu this Thursday at the World Economic Forum in Davos, Switzerland, President Donald Trump briefly outlined his willingness to talk about potentially defending the Palestinians unless they get their act together. And in doing so, he elicited a hilarious facial response from the Prime Minister, who's been trying for nearly a decade to convince the Palestinians to give up their dreams of annihilating Israel and sit down for legitimate peace discussions. We give them hundreds of millions of dollars, and they said we never talked. Well, we do talk about it, Trump said, inspiring Netanyahu to throw a smirk of approval to someone standing to the right of him. We give them hundreds of millions of dollars in aid and support, that money is on the table, and that money is not going to them, unless they sit down and negotiate peace, he added. He wasn't kidding either. Earlier this month, the State Department announced that it intends to not only withhold $45 million in aid to the Palestinians, but also an additional $65 million that it originally planned to provide the UN agency that serves the Palestinians. State Department spokeswoman Heather Nauert made it clear in a statement, however, that the president might reconsider if and when the Palestinians stop behaving like spoiled children. Dovetailing back to Netanyahu's reaction, fast forward to around the 420 mark in the video below to see it after all the Israeli people endured during former President Barack Obama's eight years in office. You really can't blame Netanyahu for being so conically thrilled at the prospect of the Palestinians finally being brought to heel. Not only did Obama bless the Palestinians with a near-endless flow of our money, but he tried to draw a false equivalence between them and their Israeli victims. In short, the present U.S. government, which is subsidizing the Palestinians to the tune of hundreds of millions of dollars a year, is incapable of distinguishing those who employ terrorist violence from the victims against whom the terrorism is directed, Victor David Hansen explained for National Review a couple years back. He likewise showed more love to the anti-Semitic Iranians, with whom he crafted a widely panned nuclear deal, than he did to the Israelis, let alone those Israelis murdered by terrorists. With Trump now in office, there's a new sheriff in town, and this sheriff has made it clear that he will no longer allow either the United States or its Israeli allies to be bullied by a bunch of murderous thugs, be they Palestinians, Iranians of whomever. American has finally retaken its position as the world's leader by, among other things, recognizing Jerusalem as Israeli's rightful capital, announcing plans to relocate its own embassy to Jerusalem, and, most importantly, holding the feet of Israel's enemies to the fire. Including, of course, the Palestinians please share this story on Facebook and Twitter, and let us know what you think about Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu's excitement regarding Trump's willingness to defend the Palestinians if necessary.